how to hit a scorpion in pickleball, and why it's effective. The first step is identifying which ball to do it on. So let's pretend we have four people here, we're dinking, I hit a dead dink, I know I'm going to get attacked, so the scorpion is how you react to that. And at the higher and higher level, the more crafty my opponent is. So meaning he might attack me here, he might get me here, he might get me out here or out here. It's too many options, I'm gonna lose the point. So the scorpion removes all guessing. Instead of me having to have my paddle as a forehand, as a backhand, out wide, tight, I simply get down and I'm removing the entire process of guessing. Now I'm just, wherever I see I'm hitting it, I can go here, here, I'm not hitting a forehand or backhand. It's very good, you can win shield wipe. The last thing to remember, the scorpion is all about timing. When my opponent is going to speed up the ball at the very last second, that's when I want to do the scorpion. Otherwise, they're going to see me doing it and be able to hit a different shot. We want to catch them by surprise and make them think they're attacking us, but in reality, we're prepared for it. Yeah!